Hi everyone and welcome to podcast number three. During this podcast we will cover two main areas. First, self-awareness, especially knowing your strengths, skills, qualities and yes your weaknesses too. And second, we will look at matching your strengths, skills and qualities to the job description you will be studying for your mock interview next month. Being self-aware is very important in life and the world of work. In fact, knowing your unique strengths, skills, qualities and your weaknesses is key to helping find the ideal career for you as well as being successful with writing applications and an interview. Socrates was an ancient and wise philosopher. He said, to know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. And this wisdom has truly echoed through the ages of time and still applies to us today. So let's begin by learning how we can consider what makes you, you and me, me. Let's start with strengths. A strength is anything we are especially good at. We may say we're naturally good at it. What are your strengths? Sometimes it can be hard to pinpoint our own strengths, so asking friends, those at home, teachers or club leaders can really help us to discover what our strengths are. But you can also think about subjects that you study, sports that you participate in, hobbies that you have, anything you can think of in which you, if, in which you excel. Then we can come on to skills. A skill is the ability to do something and we often learn skills through repetition and practice. Within skills, we talk about hard, soft and transferable skills. A hard skill does not mean it's difficult. It refers to a skill that can be measured. For example, through an exam or assessment. It is therefore more objective. A soft skill is therefore more subject subjective. For example, more in the eye of the individual or beholder. These are often things like interpersonal skills or communication, leadership and adaptability because these are a little bit harder to measure. And finally, transferable skills. These are skills which are portable. We carry them inside us from place to place, situation to situation. Things like communication, teamwork. These are really good examples of transferable skills. Other things which are important in self-awareness are your interests. What are you drawn to? What really inspires you? And motivation, including those things which energise you and lead you to action the most. And finally, your values. What's important to you and your preferences, such as if you prefer to work outside, in a team or in a busy environment, or the opposite. We cannot talk about all these things without considering our weaknesses. Interviewers will often ask questions such as, what are your strengths? As well as, what are your weaknesses? This question is often disliked by candidates, but it's an important part of the interview process. When discussing weaknesses in an interview, it is important to be prepared for the question and practice before the day with someone. While we need to be honest, we need to avoid statements such as, I'm always late or I hate working in a team, as these may well put an employer off. But don't fear, there are some great ways to answer these questions about both your strengths and your weaknesses, and we're going to cover these even more in podcast four. But for now, I want to share with you an example of how to talk about a strength. I have chosen teamwork, as it is mentioned in the Kavea 
job description. Remember, we're aiming to match our strengths and skills to the job description. So here we go. One of my strengths is teamwork. As a member of a local football team, I regularly experience the opportunity to work as part of a team. I am especially good at encouraging my fellow team members, both on and off the pitch. And I turn up to every match. Did you notice how I discussed a strength and backed it up with evidence? This is very important. Therefore, for every strength or skill you discuss, consider the evidence you can provide that you have that skill or use it. For example, through subjects at school, extracurricular activities and hobbies, even part-time jobs. An example of how to discuss weaknesses will be included in the next podcast, so hold on for that. Finally, I wanted to remind you of the importance of matching your strengths, skills and qualities to, do, to those the employer is looking for. By studying the job description, we can usually find examples of those we've used as a skill that they mention. If it is a strength of yours, that is really great, but don't panic if not. The main thing is to match strengths, skills and qualities to talk about them with evidence and to be enthusiastic about learning and developing even more skills. The interviewer will be very impressed if you can include these things. So go for it. Oh, and remember to look at your Getting Interview Ready booklet. There are so many top tips in there too. And now we move on to podcast four.